Through the first four weeks of the season, we already have a fairly good idea at which teams are going to be reaching the college football playoff. Alabama and Georgia seem like near locks, along with Oregon, assuming they all should win the games that they should win. There are some other teams hanging around the discussion, such as Oklahoma, Ohio State, Cincinnati, Notre Dame, Arkansas, Penn State, and Iowa. We had some crazy games from this past weekend, and there were a number of teams who eliminated themselves from playoff contention. Today, I'm going to be going over the six teams that hurt their playoff chances with a loss this weekend. Before we get to today's video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you love college football content, then this is definitely the place for you. Also, drop a comment down below and let me know if you think any of the teams I talk about have a shot in making the playoff. It helps the algorithm of this video and helps share it with more college football fans, plus I'd love to see which teams you guys think still have a legitimate chance. We're going to start off this video with Clemson, who is the most disappointing team in all of college football this season. They began the season ranked third and majority of people had them as a shoe in to reach the college football playoff. Now, they might not even reach the ACC title game. They're currently 2-2 two two on the season and 0-1 and in ACC play. If Clemson has any shot of reaching the ACC title game, they're going to have to win out and count on NC State to lose two more games. That situation is likely going to be the outcome, as it's tough to see Clemson losing a third game, but at this point, who even really knows? If Clemson can't even play in the ACC title game, they'll have no shot at the playoff, even if they finish the season 10-2. The other thing that really hurts is the fact that in week one, they lost to Georgia, which really hurts their resume. If things went wrong for Clemson and the ACC, but they had a great win over Georgia, that might have helped them slide in. But based on their schedule the rest of the way, Clemson won't have a chance to pick up any resume boosting wins. They have some games against Boston College, Louisville, and Wake Forest, three impressive teams in the ACC, but I don't think any of those wins would be resume boosters. I still think the Tigers figure things out, but barring some absolute chaos across all of college football, I think their playoff hopes are gone. At the moment, Clemson's odds to win the national championship are 80-1. to 1. They are truly going to need a miracle. We'll stay in the ACC and talk about North Carolina. Their hopes look to be shot after their week 1 loss to Virginia Tech, but they were slowly turning things around and look to be getting right back on track. Well, they blew it this weekend against Georgia Tech, and now they're 2-2 two two on the season and have two losses in conference play. Since Virginia Tech owns the tiebreaker, North Carolina will need the Hokies to lose three games the rest of the season, and that's assuming North Carolina wins out, which doesn't seem likely at this point. Just like with Clemson, if North Carolina can't even be in the ACC title game, they'll have no chance of reaching the playoff. Had they won this weekend against Georgia Tech, the Tar Heels definitely could have won out and made a playoff case. They play Miami, who is a borderline top 25 team, then play on the road at Notre Dame, who is ranked inside the top 10, along with Wake Forest and North Carolina State, two teams currently ranked. Plus, if they had a chance to play Clemson in the ACC title game and win, it would have been an even bigger resume booster. Somehow though, after everything I've mentioned, the Tar Heels are currently 70-1 to 1 odds to win the Natty. They have better odds than Clemson does, even though they need another team to lose three more games while going undefeated. They currently have the 13th best odds overall of winning the national championship. I don't know how that's possible, but their chances are zero. Another team that I had as a playoff sleeper entering the season was Iowa State. They fell to Iowa early in the year, and that set them back a bit, but they were still alive. This weekend though, they lost on the road at Baylor, bringing them to 2-2 on the season and knocking them out of the top 25. With 8 games left in the season, Iowa State would have to go 8-0 if they want a chance of reaching the Big 12 title game and making a case. With that being said, they can't afford to lose any games. Now I will say this, the Cyclones do have a small, small outside chance of potentially making a case. If they go 8-0 to close out the season, they're going to pick up some pretty impressive wins. They gotta go on the road to Kansas State, at home against number 19 Oklahoma State, at West Virginia, at home versus Texas, and on the road at Oklahoma. Hearing that slate, it's tough to see them going undefeated. But if they somehow were to win out and potentially make it to the Big 12 title game, I'll give Iowa State a slight chance of being the first two loss team to reach the college football playoff. But the odds they go perfect the rest of the way are very, very slim. 
Before I get to my other three teams, if you could take a second to give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps share the video with more college football fans, and it only takes a second to do. I don't think they really had much of a shot as these other teams on this list, but I had the USC still as a sleeper to make it. I know they lost to Stanford in week two, but I thought they still had a chance to win out and pick up some solid wins to close the season to help build their case. But the Trojans now have two conference losses, where ASU, Utah, and UCLA all have zero and are two games up on them. It's tough to see USC overcoming a two-game deficit, even though they play all those teams I mentioned. I still think the Trojans have another loss in them, making it unlikely they even reach the Pac-12 title game. Had they beaten Oregon State, USC likely would have been a borderline top 25 team again. Then, to close the season, they'd play games against ASU, UCLA, Notre Dame, and BYU. All solid opponents, they could have helped their resume. If USC made it through that, and they could have taken down Oregon in the Pac-12 title game, I think you could have made a legitimate case that USC would be a playoff contender. But, after this weekend's loss to the Beavers, their chances are at zero. In case you're wondering, USC has the same odds to win the national championship as Duke, Minnesota, and Appalachian State. Our next team is Texas A&M, who lost to Arkansas by 10 this weekend. Based on how their schedule shapes out the rest of the way, it hurts but also can help Texas A&M. Of the six teams I have on today's list, the Aggies have the best chance of getting back into the playoff discussion, but with one more loss, they'll be right out of it. Having two losses almost guarantees you won't reach the playoff, and the Aggies already have their one. They likely are going to have to win out the rest of the way, which is really tough to see happening considering their schedule. They have games left against Alabama, Ole Miss, Auburn, and LSU. Even if they somehow make it through that slate undefeated, they'd have to beat Georgia in the SEC title game. Now, of course, anything is possible, but with how bad the Aggies' offense has looked recently, you would think that they would definitely drop at least one game the rest of the way. They're also going to need a lot to go their way, as they're currently ranked number 15 in the country. A lot of teams are going to have to lose in front of them, and the Aggies are going to have to climb the rankings every week. Like I said, if A&M is able to win out, they'll still have a legitimate case but they can't afford to lose any more games. The final team on our list will be the Wisconsin Badgers. Now, with Graham Mertz as their quarterback, I don't think there was any way that Wisconsin could have been a playoff team, but with how good their defense is, stranger things have happened. They were head-to-head -head with Notre Dame this past weekend and even had a lead in the fourth quarter, but next thing you know, after you went to get lunch, the Badgers were losing by 30 points. Both of the Badgers' losses this season are to ranked teams, which certainly doesn't help their resume. Although they lost in week one to a really good Penn State team, I thought they were still in a really good position to climb the rankings based on how tough their schedule is. Had Wisconsin won out and won the Big Ten title game, they likely would have made a solid case for being a playoff team, but now there's no chance. Wisconsin still has to play Michigan, Iowa, and some other really good Big Ten teams. But now with two losses already and likely a third coming up this weekend, Wisconsin, your chances are shot. Well, those were the six teams who ruined their playoff hopes this weekend. Do you think one of these six teams still has a shot to sneak in? Let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you love college football content, then this is definitely the place for you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.